Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy tea towels. You can never have enough tea towels in your kitchen, and why not make your own homemade ones? We have a lot of novelty fun prints at Riley Blake Designs, and so these tea towels I'm making llama ones. I've used our cotton fabric. And I've also added our woven ginghams for a little pop of color in pink and mint. I've also embellished with trim. So you can choose your favorite trim. I chose the new Lori Holt Rick Rack or vintage trim. So we have it in colors that matches all our fabrics. So just choose your favorite trim and let's get started. So I've previously cut out I'll just lay this down there to refer to our pieces of the fabric to make these tea towels. It finishes just under 20 by 24. So the cutting measurements are as follows. The back piece, so it's kind of a whole cloth back piece, is 24 by 20. The top piece, which is right here, that is 15 and a half by 20. The gingham is 5 by 20, and this small bottom piece right here is 4 and a half by 20. So really, you're just sewing the top part of your tea towel. Then you also want to embellish with trim, and you can choose your favorite trim. I love the Lori Holt Vintage Trim, which is Rick Rack just a little bit easier to sew with and work with. And I'm gonna embellish that on each side of the gingham. So you can use your favorite trim and let me show you how easy it is to get started. So how I'm going to sew this together as I'm gonna to go right sides together. And we know there's not a right side to wovens, but there is a right side to the printed fabric. Just pin it. I usually don't pin a lot, but I'm going to pin on both sides and the middle. So let's take it to the machine and sew. All right, we've got this first section sewed just like that. Before I press, I'm going to sew the bottom section on. Just pin it at the very least, both ends and the middle. All right, we've got this sewn. I used a fourth inch. You can take a bigger bite of a bigger seam allowance if you'd like, but I'm doing a top stitch all around it and I'm also sewing the vintage um, trim on it so you're able to secure your seams that way. So that's all I used for the seam allowance. I love this new mister. It's the ultimate mister. And you can, sometimes I just pull that out and really get a good press in there. Or you can steam it, give it a really good steam, use your clapper. Check that on that side, that's a nice crisp edge. Okay, so that's pressed, ready to go. I give it a good look and just trim off any loose threads right there. And this is when I'm going to add my embellishment. Just sew it along the top. Now you're going to need a few more pins 
with this. So you might want to cut um, this just a little bit longer than 20 inches so it hangs over the edge and you can trim it later. So just slightly bigger. And the center of the rick rack, if you are doing rick rack, should be your sew lines right on there so you can line it up with your um, seam right there. Pull out my pins real fast. I left them in place because my trim was shifting a little bit. All right, now let's take a look. I am going to just trim off my excess on my sides. Can use your rotary cutter. Whatever is helpful. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is do right sides together. But if you want to add a little embellishment, like uh, we make these um, handmade tags, they're woven. So if you want to put one on, you can even sign your name. I have one that I signed my name on. This would be a good time I would put it on the back and then just do a little square stitch on the top so it doesn't show to the other side. And you can write your name. So handmade, made with love, that's a fun little embellishment to add to the tea towels, especially if you're giving them away as a gift. But I'm not adding these to this one because this one's going in my kitchen. All right. Gonna spread that out, match your corners, put that over there, and we're going to pin. Now this is just right sides together. We're gonna leave a little opening to turn inside out. So I, I would leave about a two and a half inch opening on one of the sides. So let me just pin, and then we'll take to the sewing machine and sew. Okay, let's take it to the machine and sew. Alright. I sewed around with a generous fourth seam allowance and I pivoted around my corners. Now I'm going to flip inside out. Let me just, I do a quick check to make sure all my corners are caught. That looks good. So let's turn inside out. Actually, I'm going to trim off my corners. Get a nice corner. There we go. All right, once we've got that out, like the, my turning tool, I am going to just pop out my corners. There's the last one. Shake it out a little bit. And let's give it a good press. Okay. Get it kind of wet. And I take a look. Sometimes I grab a pen, right? 
like this. Just pull out my edges while I'm pressing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tuck my opening in like that. And I'm gonna pin it. Let me just give it a little press. Let me just pin it shut. Let me grab my pin. Now this is going to be secured with a top stitch we're going around. Now you can change out your thread, but I think a pink accent on, on a top stitch is gonna look nice. So I'm not gonna switch out my thread. So let's finish up. All right, we've sewn around with our top stitch. Let me just cut off any stray Reds. Let's take a look. Looks good. Let's give it a press. Oh, I'm gonna give it a good steam. Oh, I just love to like your final thing when you do when you sew is give it a good press so it looks all crisp edges and it looks ready to give away. There we go. That looks good. So your tea towels all finished. You can keep it for yourself or give it away. I, if, if I'm going to bundle it up, I'm going to put them both together. Put them like that. Roll them up. I've made a gift tag with the same llama print there. The little jute. Can tie it. And now it's all ready to give away.